Hello, friends, and welcome to A Ray of Hope by Way of Coffee and Conversation. Take your Bible, turn to Hebrews 9, 28, get a cup of coffee, let's sit together, have an encounter with God and His precious Word as we enjoy our coffee together on this beautiful day. Well, praise the Lord. What better way to get a new day started than a fresh cup of hot coffee and a word from God's precious book, the Bible. Over in Hebrews 9, 28, the Bible says, So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled Once and for All. My friend, have you ever experienced the joy of giving someone a present, a gift with no strings attached, not even expecting a thank you? Then you have a small taste of Christ's joy in providing salvation for us. And yet we find it so hard to accept this gift at face value. You see, we seem to want to add to it for uh, just a good measure, but we have nothing to add. Our Lord's sacrifice was a perfect sacrifice, atoning for all of our sins forevermore. My friend, he's paid our debt in full. The story is told of a master wood craftsman who worked month constructing a beautiful table for his friend. He carved all manner of intricate designs around the side of the table and applied 17 coats to the surface. The finish glistened. You could see your face in it as if it were a mirror. The craftsman brought the table wrapped in a soft cloth to his friend, unveiled it, and said, Here it is, the long-anticipated gift. Though the table was indeed a thing of beauty, the craftsman's friend said, Oh, I think I, I, I can't just take this. It's magnificent. I just can't take it and accept it as a gift. You've done all the work. Surely I must do my part. And with that, the friend picked up a piece of sandpaper and he started to sand the top of the table. Well, the master craftsman grabbed his friend's wrist and said, Stop! You'll destroy the table. It is finished. So it is with that uh, great redemption plan that God wrought for us by Jesus Christ the Lord. Just before he gave up his spirit, Christ said, It is finished. It is done. It is complete. My friend, we can't add one thing. Indeed, we in our sinfulness have nothing to offer. But nothing is needed. Christ's sacrifice is perfect. Christ suffered infinitely upon the cross of Calvary and paid an infinite price in full. The only sacrifice we can give to the Lord is the sacrifice of praise and the sacrifice of ourselves. Sacrificing ourselves is a living sacrifice unto Him for what He's done. So if you haven't already accepted the gift, Stop trying to earn it by what you do. Just take it from Christ with a heart filled with gratitude. Father, thank you for your gift. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, my friend.